most people think that the number one question I get asked is about the weather. What's it going to be like? What's going on? But actually the top two questions I get asked are how tall are you and who does your hair? Where do you get your hair done? Tell me about your hair. So it really is my most asked questions. Your hair is super important and if you have a bad hair day, you get emails. People will say, oh, you look terrible today. If you're having a great hair day, people are emailing you saying, where do you get your hair done? So your hair is super important and you wanna look good when you're on TV because it is very much, you don't just you know, roll out of bed and brush it and go. You have to wake up and style it. You have to wash it, curl it, do the whole shebang. So it's really getting fully ready every single day so your hair is really kind of your most important accessory on television. My hair was always long but as I got older my hair was starting to get thinner so you could kind of see through it a little bit and um, when you're in front of the green screen that would look a little funky um, and so I would take pills and vitamins and they did definitely help but nothing would ever get me back to the way my hair was when I was 22 and it was so thick and full and amazing so meaning Heather I didn't need it to be any longer I needed it to be a little fuller and so that's what I got from I didn't actually, I didn't really know much about extensions other than bad things I had heard or the Kardashians who have amazingly crazy long ones. Um, so talking to Heather and, and learning more about this place is really where I learned about stuff and then other people have told me, oh I'm afraid to get them and I'm like, you shouldn't be because they can be amazing because if you have to go to the right place. I definitely was thought there's no way I can upkeep this, it sounds like a lot of work, I don't know what this is going to be about because your hair, what you have to do does change a little bit, you can't use certain things, you can't use oils and certain products and I thought well how am I going to have to change up all of my things and after about a week you it's there's no difference than doing things one way you have to brush your hair a little differently you can't just you know rake that brush through it as fast you have to kind of go a little slower but it is easier I have to say it's made it go a lot faster you don't have to wash your full hair as much I used to have to wash my hair every single day the whole thing and with these you don't have to do that I can just wash the top part and be good to go because this doesn't need to be washed as much and I definitely thought my hair was going to fall out or that when you take them out they would rip off and I would have all these short stubby pieces in there and that certainly isn't the case I if there's any changes I don't notice it when we take them out to shampoo and put them back in my hair looks the same as it did before so that's nice it's just a lot thinner without the extensions in and I do have girlfriends who have horror stories and I've read about really bad experiences but I've learned from being here and going to a place that does it right that they've just been going to bad places or the people who don't know what they're doing putting in things and not even using the best quality products either I would tell them definitely to make sure to go to a great place like glow this is the place I always recommend to go for people and Heather I think is amazing um, and definitely to make sure that I kind of tell them what the process is like and that it's not as difficult as you you may think and it actually makes your life a lot easier and I have some girlfriends who are afraid to get the stick on tape ones but they definitely are interested in the clip on ones too just for you know everyday parties or actually everyday parties but just for kind of a little extra glam sometimes if they don't want to have the full shebang all the time.